everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making an extra small dog sweater from the bottom up. It should fit a three to five pound dog. Um, and we're gonna need three different colors of yarn. I'm using Red Heart Comfort yarn. I have it in this taupe. I have it in this mint green, but it's not called mint green. It's called Art um, E707D3149. And then I'm using this one, which is another Art E707D3242. Anyway, we are going to do an extra small dog sweater, and we're going to start that in just a moment. everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are making a extra small dog sweater. You're going to need three colors of yarn and we're doing tulips so I'm using brown for the base color, kind of like a dirt color, and then green for my leaves and this kind of a coral for my flowers. So my hook is a 5.5 millimeter hook. And we're going to start by chaining 40, 42, sorry, 42. So I cross my yarn, the tail goes over, my working yarn goes around, and that's how I make my first stitch. So we're going to do 40. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, chain 42. Then we're gonna take our chain, we're gonna make sure it's not twisted, and we're gonna catch the end of it. And we are gonna slip stitch. Come on now, there we go. So chain 42, catch the tail, then we're gonna chain up two. We are going to do 42 half double crochets. So I'm going to show you how to do a half double crochet. Yarn over into the stitch. Grab your yarn, pull through. You have three loops. Yarn over, you go through all three loops. And we're going to do that all the way around until we have 42 stitches. So it's almost Easter here when I'm making this video and that's what's inspiring this tulip um, dog sweater. I think it's going to be so cute. Well, I always think all my dog sweaters are really cute, so <laughs> I guess I'm biased. So yes, 42 half double crochets, meet me back. Okay, so I've gone around and I've got my 42 stitches. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going into that second stitch on my chain two and I'm going to switch colors now. So I'm grabbing my green and we're going to start our leaves on our tulip. So we're going to attach the green by doing our slip stitch, tighten up that brown. Okay, we are going to chain two and then two more, so four, 
and then we're going to do a half double crochet in the very next stitch. Okay, there we go. Okay, then we are going to skip two. We're going to do a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet in the same stitch. Okay, skip two, half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet in the same stitch. Now, I have used this on a different um, pattern and it's called a V-stitch, but I don't know that it's called that on this. So chain two, half double crochet in the same stitch. Skip two, one, two, half double crochet in the third one. Chain two, one, two, half double crochet in the same stitch. Okay, we're gonna do this all the way around. So you do that and meet me back. Okay, so I'm all the way around and I've got two stitches that I would skip, right? So now I am going into the second stitch of the chain up four. Okay, I'm gonna switch colors to my coral color. Just have to find the end of it. Hmm. Huh, maybe I should have done that before. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna pull that in. Okay, so I slip stitch. We're gonna pull that green tight. We're gonna chain up two. And now we're gonna do five um, half double crochets, but we're not completing them, okay? So like when we do a decrease, so one, and go through two loops. Yarn over into the space, go through two loops. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna go yarn over. We've got two, four, six stitches. We're gonna go through all six. Okay, we're gonna chain two, one, two, and then we're going into the next space where here. Okay, and we're going to do five half of the half double crochets. Okay. So we got four and then five. We're going to yarn over, go through all those loops, and we're going to chain two. So, see? This is the flower part. So let's do it again. Yarn over into this space where we have the two stitches together, okay? We're gonna yarn through, go through two loops. Yarn over, go in the space, pull through, go through two loops. Yarn over, go into the space, yarn over, go through two loops. So see, we've got one, two, three, we would want five. Go through two loops go through two loops. So now we have two, four, six loops. We're going through all six and then we're going to chain two. One, two. So see, this is what we're getting. These are making our little tulips. Okay, so go through two loops. Go through two loops. Yarn over into the same space there. Go through two loops. Yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go through two loops. We have six, two, four, six, yarn over, go through all six, chain two, one, two. And there we go. That's our tulip design, okay? Do that all the way around and meet me back at the end. 
Okay, so I've done my tulips all the way around the flower part. I am going to slip stitch in to the second chain up. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't cut my yarn. And the reason is, without pulling too, too tight, I'm just running it up. Okay, so we're gonna chain up two. We are going to do one half double crochet in the first stitch and then two half double crochets in the space, the chain two space. One in the tulip, two in the space. And these are the half double crochets, okay? So do you see what I'm doing there? One in the tulip, two in the space. And if we do it right, we should end up with our 42 stitches again. And this, then we'll just do the pattern again. So, like I said, we're just gently running that brown up. We didn't cut our other colors and we're gonna do that for every one and we're doing it gently so that it's not distorting our sweater, okay? So half double crochet in the tulip stitch and then two in the space. Half double crochet in the tulip stitch, two in the space. One in the tulip two in the space. Do this all the way around and if we've done it right, we should have 42 stitches again. Doesn't that look cute? Oh, I love it. Okay, do that, meet me back. Okay, so I've gone all the way around and I counted and I ended up with 42. Yay me. So, in the second chain of the chain two up we are going to bring back our green and we're going to just bring it along gently we don't want to pull it too tight because we don't want it to distort our sweater now if you remember we're going to chain up two but then we're also going to chain two and then we're going into the very next stitch with a half double crochet, okay? Skip two, one, two, half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. And leave that brown, because we're gonna keep bringing it up. Now, here's what we're doing. Okay, so that you can figure this out and what I'm doing. So, brown is one row, or taupe, or whatever you wanna call that. Green is another row. Flower is another row. So that's three rows to the pattern. We want to do 12 rows, okay? So we're going to do this, these three rows, four times total. So one, two, three, four, and then we'll do green, and then we'll do flower, five, six. So we're going to want a total of 12 rows. So I want you to repeat these three rows for a total of four times and meet me back. That would give you a total of 12 rows. One row, two row, three row, four row, five row, so on and so forth, okay? So do that and meet me back. Okay, so I am on my last row. I'm gonna slip stitch oops, in that second chain of the chain two up. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to try and do it. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to bring that brown up. Okay. Tighten that orange. Okay. I can cut my orange now. One, two. We're going to chain up two with the brown. I'm cutting my orange. 
get that because if you're anything like me, you had a tangle happening there. Okay, so now we are going to do 22 half double crochets. So one and then two in the space. Two, three. One in the flower, four, two in the space, five, six. One in the flower, seven, two in the space, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. We're going to chain up two. We're going to turn our work and we're going to do six rows of this half double crochet back and forth. Okay, so this counted as one. We're going to do six total. So you do that. Meet me back. And look at our tulips. Don't they look great? I love them. Okay. Okay, so I've done my six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have a long loop. I'm going to cut a little bit of a tail. Now, very gently, I'm going to pull the tail through the loop. I'm not pulling it tight because we're going to undo it and use it later. Okay, so now we're going to go back here. And we're going into the stitch on the tulip. Woo! And I lost my yarn. And we're going to do 20 stitches. So we're going to chain up two, half double crochet. So two in the space, two, and we're going to do 20. One in the tulip. Oops. Three. Four. Five. One in the tulip. Six, seven, eight, one in the tulip, nine, ten, oops, ten, oh my goodness, eleven, one in the tulip, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, one in the tulip, 15, 16, 17, 18 in the tulip, whoops, and then 19, 20 in the chain two, chain up two, Turn your work. Now we're going to start our decrease, okay? So yarn over into that next stitch, pull your yarn through. Yarn over into the next stitch, pull your yarn through. Go through all five loops. We've decreased by one. So this is going to be a row of 18. So when we get 17, we'll do the next two stitches together, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16,
17. Now these last two stitches we're going to do together. So go in, pull through, go through two loops, in, go through two, and then go through all three loops. So now that was 18 stitches on that row. Chain up two, and we're going to decrease again right away. In the stitch, go through two, in the stitch, go through two, go through all three loops, okay? Now you're gonna do this until you're down to 10 stitches, back and forth, that should be six rows total. So we've done one, two, we're on our third row, it'll be six rows total. Meet me when you're okay, done. Okay, so I've de done all my decreases and I'm down to 10. Now, here's the thing. We have, um, we have 22 in the back and we have 10 in the front, which is 32. We will, this pattern works in multiples of three. So we are gonna drop one stitch at the end, but we're not doing it yet and I'll tell you when we're doing it. So now that we've done this, we're gonna take our, after our last stitch, we are going to slip stitch slip stitch in to the chain two on the other side to make our leg hole. But we are going to do it with green. Except my green has gotten all tangled. We will untangle it. Okay, almost there. Okay, we're gonna use our green. We are going to leave our brown. Do not cut your brown. So we're gonna slip stitch with our green and chain up two. Leave a big loop so that it doesn't unravel. We're gonna go to that one that we did very loosely we're going to undo it and we're going to attach it to the chain two, the second chain of the chain two on the other side to make that hole for the leg. And we're going to slip stitch. Then we're going to take our tail and just pull it through and pull tight this time. And there we go. We've got our hole there and our hole here. Now this brown we want to keep but we want to keep it on the inside. So let's just take this out. So we're going to do the slip stitch, but we want our brown on the inside of our work. So we are going to take this, we're going to take that, and then we're going to chain up two. Right? Okay. So now our working yarn for brown is on the inside so that when we do that. So now we chained up two, we're gonna chain two more and then we're gonna go in that very first stitch and we're doing our pattern. So we're gonna skip two, one, two. We're gonna do a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. Skip two, half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. Okay, skip two, half double crochet, chain two. Make sure that tail's on the inside of our work. Half double crochet. Okay, then we're gonna skip two, half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. Skip two, half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. Okay, half double crochet, skip two, chain two, half double crochet, skip two, Half double crochet, chain two, half, 
whoops, half double crochet. Skip two, half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. Now remember we have that one stitch that we're going to have to skip. So that'll be coming soon. Half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet in the same stitch. Skip two, half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. And then this is where we'll skip. We're going to skip two, but we're actually going to skip three and we'll slip stitch into the second chain. Sorry. Into the second chain, which is a bit difficult sometimes. And we're going to do this with our orange. You know, another variation for this is instead of or the coral actually. Instead of doing them all the same color like I did, you could switch it up. Okay, so we're going to slip stitch with our orange. We're gonna chain up two. Now, I'm gonna snip my green. Leave a bit of a tail to sew in and I'm gonna knot it. Okay. Now, green. Or sorry, orange. You remember how we do this? We go five half double crochets, but we're not completing it. One, go through two loops, two loops, three, two loops, four, two loops, and then go through all the loops and then chain two. One, two. Okay, so let's do it again. So we're going in the space of the green. Okay, so yarn over into the space, pull your yarn through, go through those first two loops. Okay, you still have two loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over into the space, pull through, go through two loops. Yarn over into the space, go through two loops. So we've got four, we've done three, half double crochets and this should make five so one two three four five now go through all the loops and chain two one two that's your tulip flower okay we're going to do that all the way around and then meet me back okay so now i'm at the end of the flower row so I am going to slip stitch into the second chain of that chain two. And instead of using the orange, I'm gonna use the brown and I'm just bringing it along the back. I'm not pulling too tight. Um, we're gonna snip our coral. And if you want, you can tie it. I don't think I'm gonna tie it. Might change my mind later. Chain up two, one, two, okay, and then like before, in the tulip and then two in the space, okay, and we're gonna do that all the way around. One, two, one in the tulip, two in the space, and we're gonna do this all the way around, okay. <laughs> it looks so cute. I love it. Okay, so one in the tulip, two in the space. One in the tulip, two in the space. One in the tulip, two in the space. So you do this and then catch up. And if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. So, and if you want notifications of when I do a new video, hit that little um, bell for notifications. Okay, so do this and meet up with me. Okay, so I'm at the end of that row. Now I'm just gonna slip stitch with my brown into the second chain 
of the chain two. And then I'm gonna cut a tail, pull through. And there you have it. That is our tulip dog sweater. Now, variations. If you want, you could do different color flowers. So I was, as I was making this, I was thinking, you know, if I did a coral, a purple, a yellow, and maybe a pink, that would look really cute, right? Um, or you could even do fewer rows of the tulips or put two rows of brown in between the tulips or whatever, right? Uh, another variation is if you wanted to, you could get some cute little buttons, maybe a, a iron-on or something of a rabbit. I don't know, whatever you want, right? You can do so many things with these sweaters that I make. Just, it's, it's unreal. So there you go. There you have it. Hide your threads. And, oh, I want to show you this. So since we carried our threads along the side here, we don't have nearly as many to sew in. So when you're hiding these threads, kind of whip stitch around these ones if you're worried that little paws will get caught in them. Just whip stitch with the, the things that you have and then that'll hold them down even more securely, but they really shouldn't be a problem. Okay, and so hide your threads. You don't have too, too many. And that's it. There you go. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. And uh, yeah, share my video with all your friends that have little puppies. Or this will also fit a small size cat. Okay, um, for cats, I would recommend that you start them young so that they don't attack you as you put their sweater on. But yeah, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.